Greetings, Brock Splash here with another vague character comic review, and this one is Neo Metal Sonic, the IDW version. Now the difference between this version and the IDW version is mainly that I do not know. They're both somewhat the same except you see more action with the comic version. While in the video game version, he only appeared for about two seconds before transforming into his metal overlord form, the giant metal dragon, which I still stand by is pretty cool. Anyway, Neo Metal Sonic in the comics is an upgraded version of Metal Sonic that Eggman used in order to help with his empire. So Neo Metal Sonic has, you could say, part of Eggman's brains, but like, not actual brains, more like his, uh, his electro, uh, how would I put it, uh, electrical, no, more like data, that's a, that, that's a good way to put it, he has data on Eggman's brain, so Eggman has a brain scan, puts on the Neo Metal Sonic, so if anything ever happened to Eggman, Neo Metal Sonic could take over and run the Eggman Empire, which he uses to not only try to, well, to gather information on Sonic and his friends, but also to look for Eggman, and at the same time, he has plan he had plans to take over Angel Island. I mean, the guy was really busy with himself while he was standing for Eggman. And his powers are interesting. He has ability to liquid metal himself into different forms. Not to regenerate, just to transform himself to look different. He used it to look like Eggman in the comics, but Sonic was quick to point out that that was not the real Eggman. So Neil Metal Sonic gave up that form. He has the ability to copy other characters' abilities and powers. How accurate this is, I don't know, but just scanning you, he can mimic your abilities. That I do know. So when Sonic Spin Dashed, Neil Metal Sonic copied the ability and his own cool version of the Spin Dash. When Shadow attacked, he was able to scan Shadow. Like, he calls it bio data. Now, apparently, it's really, really sophisticated because when Neo Metal Sonic scanned Shadow's bio data, he claimed all he needed was Sonic and Shadow's bio data and the Master Emerald to transform into his Master Overlord form. Whereas in the video game, he needed to scan all. 12 of the characters bio data to transform so yeah and I'm assuming I think Ian Flynn said that one of the hints that the bio data did work is that uh, Metal Overlord in the video games could use chaos control and that was because he had scanned Shadow's bio data so my guess is he can use every character's abilities it's just if there's no point to it he wouldn't use them unless necessary that's why we only see him use a few of the attacks. Now, when Neo Metal Sonic had access to the Master Emerald in the comics, he was able to transform into Super Neo Metal Sonic. That's a mouthful. And he is strong enough to overpower Sonic and Knuckles easily. But the big weakness is, I suppose, the gem on his chest. Because when Base Shadow used a Chaos Spear and stabbed him in the chest, Neo Metal Sonic promptly lost the Super Form and had to revert to using his Master Overlord form, which is the giant metal dragon, which is really cool. But again, this has a huge weakness. He's strong, but Sonic's friends were able to tear apart bits of him here and there, and Knuckles pulling out the Master Emerald made Master Overlord lose his ability and transformation immediately, so much so that he reverted back to regular Metal Sonic, who can't speak. And that was a that is the last we've seen of Neo Metal Sonic in the comics at the moment. Will he return? I honestly doubt it. Because one of the things Sega and Flynn don't really... Well, one of the things Sega does not like is a repeat of plots. And that's sort of what Ian Flynn does not like either. So because this has been done with, I can't see Neo Metal Sonic come back. What we got, what we got, it was fun, but yeah, they moved on. So yeah, this was my big character uh, 
profile of Neo Metal Sonic, the comic version. Thank you for listening and have a good day. Thank you.